All right, Shalom. Start first by giving all praises and glories to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. Rakatai Yahweh. Rakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings and salutations and blessings unto the elect. And also blessings unto those that help forward the truth. Shalom. Um, quick video. I'm been going through hell trying to get it up. But uh, Lord willing, this is the one. Um, basically, um, in the news lately, there have been uh, news about Native Americans being killed, or American Indians, as they're called, which are the tribe of Gad, according to the Most High's uh, chosen people, Israel, and also Reuben. But um, this is this is a, an article from uh, Alternet.org, and basically it says human rights. Uh, American Indians killed by cops at highest rate in the nation, but they're invisible in the media, which we were saying that at first about Black Lives Matter, and then now Black Lives Matter, you know, killing of Negroes are, are starting to pop up here and there and more, being more frequent, but this article is even saying that um, Native Americans are being killed even at a higher rate, and I guarantee you Hispanics are being killed at, at a, at a, at a alarming clip as well it says standing rock is only the tip of the iceberg a new story from in these times shows which is the magazine publication in these times it says um yeah it says i know it was unprofessional of me but i wept when i read stephanie woodard's investigative piece on the killings of american indians by cops which is the point because the american indians are being killed by cops you know, and, and the cops represent uh, so-called white man, which is the wicked Esau in the Bible, or Edom, and that's their, part of their agenda. It says, uh, on the killings of American Indians by cops published Monday in the Democratic Socialist magazine in these times, there's no stretch, it's no stretch to say my heart was broken. Yeah, there was, I'm going to jump to the main part instead of, well, I'll hit a couple key points. For interest of time, so even though they were not of my tribe, uh, they were still my people, like me, descendants of the first humans to set foot on this continent 400 generations ago. Like the slaves of so many African Americans killed by police, because you guys are brothers, man. And the curses written in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, they fit the Negro, Latino, and Native American. So it's, that's why I can safely say. That the Hispanics are being killed at an alarming rate as well. You know, and that's why Esau said, um, at, in these times, I mourn for my father, but then when I kill my brother Jacob, he's still doing that today. He said that way back uh, <clears throat> as Esau and Jacob, you know, back then with, with the blessing. Reading on, it says, um, the deaths of many of them could have easily been avoided by smarter, more compassionate, less trigger happy cops. The problem is people don't realize that this is meant to happen. This is prophecy. The Most High is rousing this up for this to go down. Because you Jakes are just um, full of Stockholm Syndrome. Y'all don't want to wake up. Y'all want to just do whatever, you know, the American way is and so on and so forth. Y'all just want to live in Esau's kingdom. But that's not what this is all about. Um, reading on, uh, that says... Uh, and as it is so often the case in matters relating to living indigenous Americans, these dead men and women are were invisible. Most didn't show up in the media or the statistics. <laughs> what her story would have been on the front page of the New York Times, the centerpiece of the report on NBC, the subject of speeches on the Senate floor. Ooh, went too fast. It says, uh, if it was, you know, somebody I said, the good news is that these killings have now been exposed and equally important inspired by Black Lives Matter. Some Indian activists, including Chase Iron Eyes, the Lakota lawyer of the Standing Rock Sioux, who is running as a Democratic for, no, for a Democrat for North Dakota's single congressional seat, trying to plead the white man. You're trying to, the problem is you guys are trying to fit into the white man system. The Most High is not dealing with that. He's going to continue to kill and pluck you stupid natives off, you stupid niggas off, you stupid Hispanics off, and anybody else. Because his job 
is to be the devil, and and our job is to call on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai till he take this devil down, and we rise up in, in righteousness. But two thirds will not do that. It says, uh, have for the past two years organized Native Lives Matter bullshit to bring attention to this situation and hold police and prosecutors accountable. The only thing that this is good for is um is showing you Jakes that the white man don't love you, whether you're native, whether you're black, whether you're Latino, whatever, that he ain't for you, that he's your enemy and he's trying to kill you, that you are the children of Israel, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, that he is the so-called white man, is the so-called, is, is the devil, Esau in the Bible. Now, the in, in the, the particular um, story was about a woman, uh, Jeanette Riley, I'm going to just kind of paraphrase it, a 34-year-old woman of four they faced down on Sandpoint, Idaho Street. A minute earlier, three police officers had arrived, summoned by the staff at a nearby hospital. Her husband had sought help there because Riley, homeless and pregnant, and with the history of mental illness, was threatening suicide. She was ready to end it. It was a smite with madness. They, our people got madness on us, all in the curses. It says, um... Riley had a knife in her right hand and was sitting in the ca- in the couple's parked van away from all the other people threatening other lives, right? It says, wearing body armor and armed with an assault rifle and Glock pistols, the officers quickly closed in on Riley, one moving down the sidewalk toward the van, the other two crossing the roadway. They shouted instructions at her to, warn, to, so like, to, to walk toward them showed them her hands, cursing them, she refused. Dropped the knife, they yelled, advancing, then opened fire. So they pumped two shots in her chest and another in her back as she fell to the pavement. This was a pregnant woman, by the way. Fifteen, to remind you, fifteen seconds had elapsed from the time they exited their vehicles. You know, that just shows you the, the true nature of the so-called white man. And, and okay, you could say it was a Jake or, or Asian or whatever else, it doesn't matter. The system that they have these people under is what is what pushes them to do these things. Um, there was a little more I want to read on this one. Let me see. Yeah, hundreds of them go unreported. Um, let me get to the juice of this this report. Yeah, the see yeah, Mike Mills, senior researcher at the. You guys can read this if you can pick it up. Still. It's, Got to dig a little bit on the uh, all, altern, alternate or whatever it's called, alternate.org. Anyway, it says, Mike Mills, senior researcher at the Center on Juvenile and Criminal Cases, looked at data the Center for Disease Control and Prevention collected from medical examiners in 47 states between 1999 and 2011. Uh, when prepared to their percentage, when, when compared to their percentage, of the U.S. population, natives were more likely to be killed by police than any other group, including African Americans. By age, natives 20 to 24, 25 to 34, and 35 to 44, basically 20 to 44, with their classified in three different age groups, were three of the five groups most likely to be killed by police. The other two were African Americans 20 to 24 and 25 to 34. So, Negroes, or African Americans as they call them, the tribes of Judah, 20 to 20, 20 to 34 would be killed at an alarming rate, and 20 to, to 44 Native Americans would be killed at an alarming rate. Males analysts of CDC data from 1999 to 2014 showed that Native Americans are 3.1 times more likely to be killed by police than white Americans because they know the system. And you guys can read the rest. I'm not going to read it. Um, but I got some scriptures to go with this. Um, well, scriptures I'm going to start with. is um, It's how you know this is the end times, man. It's how you know this is the end of of, uh, of America. The end of the, of the so-called white man's rule. And this is the scripture that goes with it. Uh, Revelation chapter 12, uh, verse 12 says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man, you guys need to be rejoicing because this is the end right here. You know, this is another sign that this is the end of of, uh, this this life like this until we get into the kingdom. 
That's what's next. It says, uh, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth he hath but a short time. And that's why he's bringing all his hell on you, because he knoweth he hath but a short time. He know he got to stop you guys from, from inheriting these blessings. You know, from, from giving back, getting back the kingdom from Yahweh Shem Yahweh You know, he knows he goes into slavery after this. And the elites who, who push these agendas of these cops, they know what this is. They know what it is. They know that um that that uh, when, when, when their kingdom's over, that we get it and they, get it, they go into slavery under us. You know, and what we need to know is that the Most High created these people, the devil, for for this, the wicked people. He created them for this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to um, yeah, let me go here real quick. Uh, Proverbs chapter four, not chapter sixteen, verse four. It says, "The Lord Yahweh has made all things for Himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. And this is that." great day of evil you know this is that great day of evil right now and this is when when um the most high is going to show himself and 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 has his so-called white man doing what he has to do to to rouse you you jakes up man to let y'all know that y'all in a war and right now in this war y'all losing makes me think of um genesis um yeah Cause uh, what, is it, what is it gonna take for you guys to wake up and realize people, you guys are being killed at an alarming rate? Whether you're native, whether you're Negro, you're being killed at an alarming rate. Uh, let me read this. This is uh, Genesis 49. I'm gonna start at verse nine. It said Judah is a lion's whelp, and Judah is the so-called Negro. That's the tribe of the Negroes, who you call the Negroes today. It says uh, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he crouches as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? He's laying around like an old lion, getting beat on and kicked and shot down and everything else. He's set up for the prey, you know, to be killed and everything else, and he's docile. But who's going to rouse him up to? He remembers that, hey, I'm a lion, and I'm the king of the jungle. Who's going to rouse him up? This Black Lives Matter, Native Lives Matter, all that's supposed to rouse you up, you know? That's supposed to rouse you up, seeing your people get shot down left and right. But watch, when they cut your EBT off, that's when you're going to realize, that, you know, that's when you're going to get roused up, you know? You're going to take the chip, but when they cut your, your EBT, that's what's going to get you, you know? When there ain't no food in the stores, that's when it's going to get you. But just getting killed ain't good enough, right? That's going to take the wake you simple as wake you up. Now let me get, the, yeah. Genesis 49 and 19. Gad, who are the Native American Indians or the American Indians or whatever you want to call them. And, and you know, it says, uh, Gad, a troop shall overcome him. And back in the, back when early times of America, that was the cavalry coming to overthrow them. You know, they brought in the Gatling gun. They're shooting the people down. That was then. But now it's the cops. The cavalry is the modern day cop. They come and they shoot the Negro down shoot Hispanics down, they shoot the natives down. He said, the troops shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. So even though they're being killed at the highest alarming rate, they're going to overcome through the power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. You know? So they're going to overcome. So when you when you look at stuff like, uh, like this right here, and you see Jake being killed at such a high rate, you know, it's crazy. Look, there, I just seen this right here. It said, there are also zero coverage of native jailhouse deaths that the CDC euphemizes as death by legal intervention. It's crazy. You know, but you're not the, you're not the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Y'all not Israel, right? Y'all not Israel. So that was just a video. Lord willing, brothers, is edified. Lord willing, you realize that this is a prophecy that's coming to pass. That you guys must be killed. Most High going to start his own sanctuary and that you guys are the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You guys are Israel in the Bible. You need to wake up and call on the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh so we can get up out of here and get into the kingdom. 
get this white man off the planet, man. Get him in subjection where he belongs. With that, I say shalom.